Hello, this is KB Master. We're gonna be playing some more of the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we got a memory, and um, so and we also headed off to the next memory in the bottom of swamp, which is like over there. Um, we also found. So yeah, I rode to I rode to the stable, which I promised I would. For it has Hestu in it, and I just up up upgraded a little bit of my bow stash, cause I I got a Korok seed on the way. So. Yeah, that's really all that happened in between this episode and the last episode. I didn't really want to do much. So, yeah, we're just going to quickly do a shrine. And, um, yeah, then we can get started. Cause just so you know. Just, beca just because, like, I just feel like, um, you know, we need more hearts. Like, if we're not going to die, and we, ha we have to take some risks here. But, like, if we're going to play the game, we need more hearts. So, I just feel like we should go and do some shrines. So, okay. First thing we're going to do, get the chest. We'll find Amber. I mean, it's 30 rupees. I mean, that's fine. But, okay. So, yeah. Uh, we're gonna paraglide down and um yeah so we're gonna have to repeat um one process twice of moving metal blocks so yeah that's where the exit is to get the spear orb but we're gonna need to go through this process like i said two times um and yeah we first we need to put that there and but but um yeah then we're gonna need to use that metal ledge to get over to there so um but yeah for now we're just trying to get the metal um piece that is um on top of this um big structure yeah so i'm just gonna go stack this and keep on doing this until i'm done so i got up and so yeah now we have that metal thing that will act as like a, a little bit of a ledge so okay let's use our um, metal block and um let's see where our first place to put i mean maybe it would be more ideal to be on the ground maybe actually um yeah i think i'll just wait 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 hold on. wait 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 okay uh, uh, uh. Hold on a minute, just wait. I need the metal ledge first, otherwise I can't. Yeah, I need to put the metal ledge down. Okay, there we go. So, if you stack the boxes in the right place and you put the metal ledge right there, you should be able to make it. So, I did that. I broke my traveler's shield in the process, but that's all right. So, okay, we've got another spirit orb. I, how many do we have? Do we have like, how many? I can't even remember. I think we have like two, I believe. Or is it one? No, oh, okay, okay, yeah, two, two. All right, so now this will be our third, and then we'll need one more, and then we can, um, yeah, get another heart. So, all right. Here's our next spirit orb. Your resolveness and never coming this experience of a hero. Yep, 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 we already know all that. We already know all this. We've done this a million times. All right, so three spirit orbs. May the goddess smile upon you. All right, so... Um, we're gonna go ahead and take Epona and ride to the bottom of Swamp, um, right, right now. Um, I would do some cooking and some other things in the stable, but, um, I do want to just get started because there is something I'm scared about do going in the bottom of Swamp. Well, first of all, the bottom of Swamp, you know, it's a place filled with enemies, but it's the forest next to the bottom of Swamp. So we're not even going in and fighting a bunch of enemies, but it's just in the field. You have to go around the bottom of Swamp and there will be a field in front of it, but the forest is on the side but in the field there will be a guardian if you remember from the second episode of breath of the wild we witnessed a guardian um so and these guys can take you out in one hit i've done it before and it's very scary so i'm just gonna quickly try and run away quickly oh, oh okay so yeah he has targeted me okay 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 all right all right all right, all right. he has he has he's, he's attacking me okay just just run 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 oh this guy's gonna take me out in one hit. Okay, I only have one shield and it's damaged. So I could try and parry it, but it won't even kill him. So, oh my god. Man, if, if I didn't have that fairy, guys. Guys, if I, if you remember from one of the previous episodes, we got a fairy from the Great Fairy Fountain. So if we didn't get that fairy, what do you think would have happened? Yeah, we would have died. We would have died. So let's just, oh, oh my god. If I get it. I have two more fairies, but I, it's not ideal to keep on using fairies. I would like to keep them for the next time a situation like this happens. So, the good thing is, is that we still get to keep on playing Breath of the Wild. That, that I, I'm not counting that as a death, guys. I'm not counting that as a death. Not counting as a death. So, I just want to get... I'll get past this this, this moment. Okay, good. He, he's walking away. Good, good. Okay, good, good. All right, that was, oh my God, I just need a moment to reflect. Oh my God, oh, oh, oh my God. This is, woo. 
All right, let's see. All right, I think I figured out. Okay, so that, f I guess this place is the forest then. All right, let's go and let's find the memory in the forest. So, all right. That, I just, I just, I mean, that, that was the thing I was scared of, guys, right? I was just, I was scared of it, and now it's, that's just, like, I'm past it, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm really, gl I'm really, I'm happy I got past that, because I was dreading it. I was, re I was really dreading it, and, um, I know there was a different way to get, a, a different way to approach that, but I just didn't know the path and the way I would get lost, and I didn't want to make the video so long. Or at least, I mean, that's more time for me to edit, guys. Like, you know, I'm trying to, I, I really want to put it on YouTube really quickly without, like, having to, like, do endless editing. So, the editing is actually, it's, 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 it's not all, like, edit, editing is actually very boring. Like, what, well, all you're doing is, like, finding unnecessary parts and just taking them out. So, oh, oh my god, here's the memory, alright, here's the memory, oh. Wow, I, I did not think I'd just find it like that. I mean, it's, it's, this forest is a, a, a pretty big maze, you know, but, oh yeah, if you remember from the last episode, Pikango told us about this picture, and we looked in the bottom of the swamp, in the forest, and, um, yeah, we found it, so let's watch the memory. turned against us. It was... Calamity Ganon. It turned them all against us. Everyone, from the Dark Nervosa, Rivali and Daruk, were all trapped inside of it. It is all my fault. Our only hope for defeating Ganon was lost, all because I couldn't harness this cursed power. Everything... Everything I've done up until now, it was all for nothing. So I really am just a failure. All my friends, the entire kingdom, my father most of all. I've tried and I've failed. Alright, so that was a really, really sad memory. I just feel really sad just because, you know, you know, this is after the Great Calamity killed everyone. I just, it's just, it's just, you know, a very sad memory. But, um, alright, so yeah, we've done, I believe, three memories so far. I can't even remember how many we've done. Yeah, no, I think it's three. Yeah, three. Okay, good, three. Alright, so, um, now that I, I wonder, so the net, the, yeah, so the horse statue would be my, um, one I would do because, that's pretty close. That's actually close to the Great Plateau. That's Hyrule Castle. That is a familiar site. That's near Hyrule Castle. That's near Hyrule Castle. So a lot of these are near the castle, and that's close to death. So I'm um, going to try and avoid some of these places. But all right, so basically I'm actually going to start my journey to the Divine Beast, like I said in the last episode. So, um, yeah, um, so I'm just gonna quickly, uh, I don't know, I might get the horse statue, because the horse statue's close to the Great Plateau, um, so I, I don't know, maybe I'll get it, I didn't see, and, and by the way, it's not on the Great Plateau, in case you misheard me, it's near the Great Plateau, not on it, so, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get that chest, I mean, it wasn't really that important, but, alright, so, now, let's just go ahead and, alright, so yeah, here we are. And I'm just going to go ahead and glide down to the shrine. So if you keep on gliding, you'll eventually find this area. And then and then you'll find the shrine under here. So I, that is not, that's, this is not the way to the Divine Beast. I know you're probably wondering, what do you mean? This is the way to the Divine Beast? What do you mean? So no, yeah, normally you'd cross the bridge to a stable. And then 
there's a, a good path to get to um, Rito Village, but um, yeah, before we get to the village and um, and uh, get to the Divine Beast, we're just gonna do the shrine and maybe get a memory. But uh, I I promise that this will be a productive um, video. I know it. Do, I know right now it's not being very productive, but the journey to the Divine Beast is literally like it literally it's literally like all horse riding. So like I know it looks like I'm wasting time already ten minutes into the video, but like the whole journey is just horse riding and like exploring. So like, it's not really, you know, like there's a lot of editing to do there. So just so you know. All right, but yeah, this is a minor test of strength with a guardian who has a guardian spear. So yeah, let's go in. Okay, this the shield is, is gonna break really soon. So okay, just, just hit him back with my sword. Oh, oh, okay, okay, no more shields now, okay. I don't know when the next time I'm gonna get a shield is, cause like, it could be a while, so. All right, now I'm not, now I lost my sword, so okay. Let's just get a hammer, okay? All right, what's he doing now? Oh, 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 no, it's this move. Yeah, 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 it's that move, okay. Uh, Okay, this would be good. Okay, let's just hit him with the bows. That'll be really good. Okay, okay good, 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 good. All right, soldier's bow, go! Hit him! Destroy him! All right, uh, okay, okay, uh, all right. Well, what's he doing now? It looks like he, he's in like midair right now. Okay, what's he doing? Is he gonna shoot a laser or something? What, what? Oh, no, 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 he's doing the attack. He's doing the shoot me. Oh, 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 oh. Whenever he does that attack and starts targeting you, you always have to know that that is always death. If you don't want to die, you always have to be scared. So, all right. We got our cool spear, which is just like the guardian sword, but just a spear version. So that's really cool. We have our ancient, um, yeah, ancient materials, and yeah, let's go and get the chest and the spear orb, which will also give us some um, a, a sixth heart if we get to a goddess statue. So, well, let's go get it. Triumph over the test of strength, so was prophecy of ruin from the ashes. Pyro, a hero rises. All right, we got a spirit orb. May the goddess smile upon you. All right, all right. Okay, guys, so yeah, as you can see, we just are going to this time be on the bridge instead of below the bridge with the shrine. So we're just gonna recover our stamina quickly. And by the way, that big guy over there, just ignore him because he could lead to death. So let's escape that guy. So, okay. First of all, I'm actually just going to sleep. Just because, like, I don't want skeletons ganging up on me and bats. Like, I, I really just... The nighttime is very bad because there's just more enemies. So I just want to do that. So, all right. I went to sleep. I'm on this path. Just keep on following the path of the bridge and you'll be able to get to the outskirts stable. So, hmm, the stable is surrounded by cliffs. So it lacks striking scenery. Hey, we meet again. Are you about traveling? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm so happy to tell you a new place if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. So, okay. Now we're going to get a new memory. All right. Oh, that horse statue. This is that sand... What? what? Uh, yeah, yeah, there are some park ruins on Suffolk Hill. This is Suffolk. Suffolk. I'm, I'm too fast here. All right. Painting in my passion, but even I can tell that statue is a true masterpiece. It's worth seeing at least once. So good. All right. All right, so where, okay, so where should we begin? I mean, first we should get Epona, just because we're gonna need some fast travel. So, okay, you wanna go to Rito Village, right? Then just head north. But if you don't wanna run into any guardians, it might be easier to take a detour to the east. Say, on an entirely different topic, I've recently begun selling it, uh, okay. Do, do work as watchman certainly fills my soul, but not in my pockets. I apologize for only having arrows, but arrows are something that you can never have too many, right? All right, all right, fire arrows. All right, yep, you can take fire arrows. Because I know um, we are running a little low on arrows. So I think it would be nice to take some fire arrows. Uh, all right, yeah, got your eye on the huh? How many do you need? Okay. All right, so that is, okay, good. Okay, so we're, we're, we're selling we're selling them out with his arrows. I mean, maybe we could, I mean, we still have a good amount of rupees then. So let's buy two then. I mean, you can never have too much fire arrows and arrows. So, I mean, he's right about having too much arrows. So all my stock, that's total. All right, make good use of it. 
And I guess we could buy one more fire arrow. I mean, we can't buy we can't buy all of his stuff because we don't have enough um, rupees, but we can buy another fire arrow. So, okay, that's done. Need anything else? Um, okay, goodbye. All right, so let's go ahead and get on to Epona, and the journey begins. So, yeah, if you heard the thing about guardians, we're not going to be facing guardians. We're going to take... Um, we're not going to go on the path. But, so, yeah, we're going to go on, like, a different path, which is not leading to north. It's going a little a little to the... Yeah, we're doing the detour to the east. So, like, it's it's off the main path. But, yeah, we're doing the detour to the east. So let's go ahead and do that, yeah. So, hold on. I'm actually just going to... So, yeah, in case you guys are wondering, so, yeah, don't go north because there's going to be a choice. Eventually, there's going to be a fork. But, okay, I think the, the park ruins is going to be over there. So, before, like I said, before we go to Rito Village, we're going to go to the um, horse statue. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, but, hold on, let me just kill these birds because it's really nice having a lot of meat. Because, like, then you always have something to heal you. Like, I've just been getting a ton of bird drumsticks. Like, look at this, 16 drumsticks. Like... How many birds am I going to find on my travels, right? So it's just going to be really, really, really great. So Okay, so it looks like I just got onto a hill. I was following the same path, got onto this hill, and I find this. So that looks like the park ruins, but I just don't see the horse because of the trees. So I think maybe we should just check that place out before we keep on going on the path. So, okay, put the apple down, and we have a Korok seed. All right, hello, Korok. Yeah, you found me. All right, so we have one Korok seed. All right, so now let's get on Epona, and let's go and check out this place. All right, so here we are. This is it. The Sa Sa Sanidin, Sanidin Park Ruins? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, here we are. Another memory, the second memory in the video. It's amazing. So, okay, I guess we can recall now then. All right, he takes a look around and notices something. Looks at his shake a slate and starts having a memory. sure to take the time to soothe your mind. That's the only way you'll know how you truly feel. Your advice was quite helpful, thank you. And here's little one and I are getting along quite well now. At first, I wasn't sure if I should outfit him with all of the royal gear. I thought maybe he should have to earn it first. But it works, and he wears it like a true natural. I'm trying to be a bit more empathetic. Benefit of the doubt, you know. See that mountain? That's Mount Rhaenyra. It takes its name from the goddess of wisdom. Rhaenyra's decree is very specific. It says no one is allowed under the age of 17. For only the wise are permitted a place upon the mountain. I prayed at the spring of courage and at the spring of power, yet neither awoke anything inside me. That may be up there. Perhaps the spring of wisdom, the final of the three, will be the one. To be honest, I have no real reason to think that will be the case. But there's always the chance that the next moment will change everything. Tomorrow is my 17th birthday. So then I shall go and make my way up the mountain. Okay, so yeah, basically she was talking about Mount Laneru because she wasn't feeling any power to do the sealing. But of course, in um, one of the previous episodes, we saw that Zelda went to Mount Laneru and still didn't get her sealing power. And then we saw the other memory today 
where um yeah all the champions died. So yeah, with that, I think now we're officially going to Rito Village on this big big journey. So yeah, we're gonna go up a mountain, and so yeah, I'm just gonna go explore this huge mountain, and from that mountain, I think I'll leave Epona and then glide down. So um yeah, so all right, let me go ahead and go up this way. The problem with traveling is that like. You're always ambushed by enemies, and I just I just don't feel comfortable with that type of stuff. You know, especially when it's night, but... All right, maybe I could go ahead and get some more meat. I love meat. I'm constantly taking meat. All right, two birds dead. Now more meat. Man, I just can't get enough of these drumsticks, can I? Uh oh, now there's more birds. All right, so, okay. Here we go, let's get a new stone. Luminous stone it can be used for clothing and also can be 70 rupees, so very good. Um, yeah, so that's just, uh, so this this club has actually ended up, ended up to be pretty good, but okay, any Korok seeds? Nope. All right, let's get on Epona and continue the ride. All right, so it's, it's raining, can't climb, nighttime, skeletons around on skeleton horses. The only thing we have is a nice shroom, which can give us more stamina, which can, like, it'll completely f fulfill our stamina and a little bit of extra stamina if you cook it. So that's really, really helpful. But okay, let's just get away. This is why I don't like exploring, but everyone has to explore once in a while, you know? But, all right. We're getting, yeah, so we're in the Hyrule Ridge region, and we're getting close to the Tabantha, where the Rito village is. So we're actually getting pretty close. Okay, okay, so we're looks like we're falling down now, but actually, I can't, wait, am I going the wrong way? No, no, I'm going the right way. It's just that, oh, okay, okay. this is going to be really hard. This is going to take out a lot of time. Oh, this is actually going to be pretty difficult to do with Epona, so. All right, Epona, I have to tell you something. Wherever you go, and where, whatever happens to you, stay safe. I'm going to give you this apple. I will come back to you when the stable comes. I will come back to you. Stay out of trouble. I will come back, but I must go on my own now. I'm going to go paragliding, but I'm not, for some reason the paraglide is not working. All right, there we go. Okay, I, now we're going on foot. We've used Epona enough. Those mountains mean that we're close. That canyon means that we're close. So all that means close. So. All we need, there's just one um, little um, stable that we need to go to, and then we'll end the video there. And that stable's really close to Rito Village, so. Yeah, all right, so there is Rito Village! We have spotted Rito Village on the map and marked it. And also a stable! This is the stable I was talking about! We're almost there! We're almost at Rito Village, and our journey is almost where we need to be. This is almost happening. Alright, and there's a shrine, the Tabantha Bridge Stable, and now we can hit goats. But yeah, we can also get Epona now, so okay, yes, it's nice to relax and observe the animals once in a while. Hey, we meet again, are you traveling out as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm so happy to tell you new places if you want. If you have seen a picture to show me, let's see it already. Ah, these are the ancient columns. If you cross the Tabantha Great Bridge over there, there's a large cliff to the south. Mm. I recall that shrine you can see on the right there, so I'm pretty certain that's the place. All right, so this place is actually really close. So I believe, yeah, that's the Tabantha Bridge, and then that is the shrine that is that is in the memory. So, yeah, let's just mark that there. And so, yeah, th that's basically where the, another memory is. So that's really cool. That's I guess that's why they put that um, um, stable there. And it was a 